Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Healthy Lifestyle A to C. This is Lady Smith. Today's recipe is gonna be cassava sandwich bread. This is gluten-free for all those of you that are gluten intolerant. You can make this bread in 45 minutes. It's very easy and fast. You're in control of all the ingredients. You know what you put in it instead of buying it and having a lot of preservatives and sugars and stuff. So at least you know you're using organic maple syrup, uh, cassava, flour, film husk that is a fiber, eggs, um, you can buy them pasture raised, organic, and you're in control. So this is a list of ingredients. This is for one loaf. And you're gonna need three quarters of a cup of cassava flour, six eggs, they can be organic, pasture raised, four tablespoons ghee, or maybe coconut oil, one third of a cup of unsweetened applesauce, one tablespoon organic maple syrup, half teaspoon apple cider vinegar or white vinegar, half teaspoon baking soda, one quarter of a cup of silm husk powder. Get a bowl and start adding all the eggs one by one. Whisk very well. Add the ghee. For your coconut oil, the good thing is that you can always replace uh, one ingredient for another one. Mix it very well. Add your applesauce. This is unsweetened applesauce. Organic maple syrup. You can add agave if you want. There's always an, uh, an option. Add the cassava flour. Mix it well. Everything has to be very, very incorporated. Add psyllium husk powder, this is the fiber. Keep on mixing. Add salt. I use sea salt. Add baking powder. You're gonna mix. Add the apple cider vinegar and it can be white vinegar. Keep on mixing. Spray the loaf pan with some oil. Preheat the oven at 350. Pour the mix in your loaf pan. Bake it 35 or 40 minutes. Every oven is different. This is such a good recipe. And this is how it looks like after 40 minutes. Enjoy. You can make sandwiches or just eat it with butter and jam. Or, I don't know, maybe if you're eating pasta, you can eat it with your pasta. And it turns out really fluffy and moist. It's delicious. So instead of buying your bread, you can make your own bread. I invite you to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and see you next time.